Hi, I'm Steve from BoatTest.com, and today we're going to go over some of the features of SiriusXM's weather and fish mapping service for your onboard multifunction display. Whether you're heading out for a day of fishing, preparing for a fishing tournament, or just going on a pleasure cruise, experienced boaters know that having the right equipment on board to provide accurate weather and fishing information is essential for a successful trip. Sirius XM Marine displays graphical marine weather and fishing data overlaid directly on your chart plotter via their satellites. You'll have the weather and fishing info you need at your fingertips over 150 nautical miles offshore, well beyond cell or internet range. Now it's important to know that weather is an important feature in the fish mapping service, so important in fact that it's included with the fish mapping. Here are some of the most useful weather features. Weather radar. You can see when a storm cell is nearby using satellite weather radar and watch its course to know if you can stay out of it or if you need to move to safer waters. Lightning. You can see recent lightning strike areas represented with a lightning bolt on your screen. Marine zone forecast. Here you can select the individual NOAA marine zones to view a full written report with localized weather forecasts for each zone. Marine warnings. Marine warnings are displayed for designated marine zones. Select a particular zone to receive hazardous weather warnings for that region. Garmin actually shades a warning area in red so you simply can't miss a warning as it's broadcast in your area. Let's talk about fish mapping now. This is impressive stuff and it's loaded with features that will give a captain a leg up. Sirius XM has partnered with Maxar, the satellite provider of Google Earth imagery. Maxar has also been serving the commercial fishing industry with oceanographic data for over two decades. First of all, fish mapping is a superset, and it comes with all the useful weather features that Sirius XM Marine offers, along with an additional eight dedicated fishing features. Fish mapping features help you find locations with the ideal conditions where bait fish congregate, which in turn attract game fish. Like Sirius XM weather, the fish mapping features are added directly to your chart plotter, so you have access to critical fishing information at your fingertips. Let's look at a few of the key fish mapping features to help the offshore anglers access the most likely spots for finding fish on a Garmin display. We'll start with a couple of sea temperature features. Sea temperatures are a critical factor when chasing game fish. They help find the most likely areas where predator fish hunt the bait fish attracted to these often nutrient rich areas. Sea surface temperature front lines are shaded in red and have numbers that coincide with the front strength. Number one represents a weak front and number four represents a strong front. Ideally, you want to look for number three, strong and four very strong fronts. 30 meter subsurface temp. These are at almost 100 feet of depth and can often vary substantially from the surface temperatures, especially when surface temps are very similar everywhere, like in the warmer months in Florida. This feature allows you to target temperature breaks preferred by game fish, only this time at deeper levels. Fishing recommendations. You can view locations that oceanographers suggest are most likely to find six specific types of game fish based on their data-driven analysis. The locations are color-coded by species and overlaid on your screen. Recommendations are not based on catch reports, but on the actual ocean data. So think of it as a forecast. Sea surface height anomaly. You can view locations where the sea surface height is different than the surrounding areas. The anomalies in the sea height show where fronts, eddies, upwellings, downwellings, and convergence zones are located. Weed lines. This feature allows you to view the larger batches of weeds offshore, typically 25 plus miles or more offshore. Weed lines provide pelagic fish two critical things, food and shelter and an otherwise desert of a landscape. So knowing where these weed lines and patches are is useful information indeed. This feature gives you three days of historical data and an animation or a loop option so you can more easily see and track the path of the weeds. Plankton front strength. This feature allows you to locate where there are areas of greatest plankton concentration adjacent areas where relatively little or no plankton exists. Plankton fronts often show where murky or nutrient-rich water favorable for bait fish occurs next to clear predator-preferred water, providing better visibility for hunting. Strong plankton fronts indicate areas for the most likely game fish feeding activity, like sea surface temperature fronts. Plankton fronts are labeled based on a numerical scale. Ideally, you're looking for three strong and four very strong fronts. 
Now, the Smart Captain won't just go to the fish recommendations feature and call it a day, not with so many other tools in your arsenal. For example, by combining sea temperature fronts with plankton fronts and looking for those areas where both the SST fronts and plankton fronts overlap with strong and very strong labels, that will show you the most likely areas to find fish. Add the layer for the fish recommendations feature and you've got a trifecta of data that puts you ahead of everyone else. Now let's look at how a typical captain starts his day and uses this service to its best advantage. The first thing we're going to do before we go out on the water, we're going to check the weather. That's the most important thing for us. And we want to see what's coming and if we're going to be able to avoid it. I'm looking for the weather radar. I'm looking over to see lightning strikes where they have struck. And I'm also looking at sea conditions to really have a successful trip. All this information can be overlaid throughout the whole day while we're out fishing. And with fish mapping, it's going to overlay on my map the plankton, the sea temperatures, and I can even target by species right here on my Garmin screen. And this is going to be very helpful for a successful day on the water because our goal is to catch that big trophy fish. Sirius XM marine fish mapping and weather provide information so you can fish with confidence and spend more time on the water. You can also add Sirius XM Entertainment and enjoy your favorite commercial free music plus sports, news, talk, and entertainment through your onboard sound system. Adding Sirius XM Marine weather, fish mapping, and entertainment is easy. First, you purchase and install the compatible hardware, choose your subscription package, and then activate it online at SiriusXM.com forward slash marine or call 855-796-9847 and ask for a free trial. These services are available on B&G equipment, Furuno, Garmin, Lowrance, Simrad, and Raymarine. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water, hopefully with a boatload of fish.